my dad and I uh, went by automobile up to Chicago to that 1933 World's Fair. David Sarnoff had a, a young engineer who came over from Russia by the name of Vladimir Zworykin, who had built the Zworykin iconoscope tube. It was a tube that was sort of dipper shaped and the light would be shined onto this screen inside and the electron beam would scan that screen, which had a whole bunch of little tiny elements on the surface, taking a lot of light to do it. The sensitivity wasn't very great, but that iconoscope camera and black and white picture monitors, black and white television in those days, was on display at the Chicago Fair, and it was a... How big was very, the screen? Well, they, they had, I think, about 10-inch cathode ray mm -hmm. tubes for the picture mm -hmm. for people to observe, They'd see themselves on television. And, and your personal reaction to that, did that project to you an idea of what uh, your career might be and how it might interrelate with television? Yeah, I said, this is going to be very, very interesting to uh, go ahead in this field. So I took courses in electronics and, and um, built some of the early um, radar height finding equipment with uh, the professors mm -hmm. at Cornell back as early as 31 and 32. And um, or it's worked with Chuck Mingens. Dr. Mingens was working on these radio receiver units and transmitter units with um, the Cornell faculty in measuring the height finding uh, method of the ionized layer of the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So that was really early radar, 1931. Mm -hmm. And so I got started in that sort of electronics business, not just television only, but the other mm -hmm. activities of vacuum tubes and whatnot.